Good evening to you. I'm Paul Seacolla. With Super Bowl Sunday right around the corner, we have been highlighting the Tucson connections all week long, and that also includes a member of the Pascuayaki tribe from right here in the old Pueblo taking part in a massive NFL mural in downtown Phoenix. <laughs> Anitra Molina, a graduate of Catalina High School in Tucson, puts in work in downtown Phoenix on an NFL Super Bowl mural representing the indigenous cultures here in Arizona. I'm a proud enrolled member of the Bosco Yaki tribe. Collaborating with another proud Yaki, Lucinda La Morena Hinojos, as they include everything from an indigenous woman to desert plants to colibris or hummingbirds. In Yaki, they're called Tamaluluku, so they're messengers, so that's a big focal point for us. And then the nopal, and it's just a reflection of the love of the land that we have as stewards of the land here that we've walked this earth for time and memoriam. We've been here for thousands of years, and we get to change the narrative for once and show that there's a lot of pride and joy, community, strength, power, compassion, resilience, all that is rolled up into this one mural. Apart from the pride that she has from being from the Pasco Yaqui Nation and growing up in Tucson, Anitra also tells me that it truly is a mural that celebrates all of Arizona and the desert Southwest. Wes Raufi with City Vodka, who has a Super Bowl hip hop event going on Thursday night, was allowing artists access through the Monarch's roof all week. 50 years of hip hop, we've got all kinds of different influencers. Influencers like these proud Native Americans representing the crazy AZ. The Pascua Yaki tribe from right here in Tucson represented strong at the Super Bowl. Speaking of the Super Bowl, our in-depth coverage of arguably the biggest sporting event in the world continues with David Kelly, who joins us live from Mesa, Arizona at the Sydney Poitiers New American Film School. 